everyone and welcome to our game of World of Warships. Today's replay is from Iraq Z and he is in the Des Moines, the tier 10 US cruiser. He is on the map north in a 4 point domination game. And there are 3 destroyers per team, it's obviously a tier 10 battle. And there are no carriers around. Now the Des Moines has radar which is perfect to support your destroyers when they are going for a cap. Unfortunately, no destroyer is coming towards him here. Now, in the beginning, the Uderloy looked like he would be going towards C, but I guess he decided to go to B instead. We have a lot of ships over here, but it looks like the battleships are going towards D, which is the worst thing they could possibly do. So, yeah. Now, Irox set is alone here, which is uh, pretty bad, so he should probably try to get the hell out of here. He is detected. There are enemies looking at him so he is using radar since he's detected he knows that there must be an enemy around and indeed there is the gearing unfortunately though he is pretty much alone here and there are two enemy battleships so he has to turn around and this is already a pretty dangerous turn Especially the island here is a big problem because he can't just sail straight away Otherwise he might just go into the island. Oh, no, I think he well He's maneuverable enough to get around this He could have gone closer to the island in front of him and tried to use that as cover But he might have been sunk before he and should close the island isn't very high here in the beginning and any closer to those battleships would have been potentially disastrous So well, two fires on him. This is already starting out pretty, pretty bad. Now, going directly towards sea was a bit, I guess, too dangerous. The problem is basically this one island he started next to. Would have... Going defensively would have cost a lot of time. And since I guess he was expecting a destroyer to come his way, he wanted to support him. But it turns out that... His starting move cost him most of his health but he is still around and well he has a heal now there is an argument to be made for just dropping into stealth we know the enemy isn't capping c so we know there is no destroyer inside c so he could drop try to drop into stealth i mean the gearing could potentially try to keep him spotted but since he isn't in the capture points he should be sufficiently far away and I think really dropping into stealth before his turn would also be nice. This island does provide some cover, but I'm not sure if it's enough. Probably it is. So anyway, he nicely extracted himself from this situation. Now, unfortunately, there is still a massive friendly force going towards point D. And, well, I mean, we are almost four minutes into the game and they haven't reached that capture point yet. That tells you those three battleships, they spent now four minutes getting to this point. They are still not capping, and if they cap here and then move out of this point, then they'll need well, probably another five minutes or something, or even more. So basically, those four ships, they decided to not do anything the first ten minutes. If enemies would face them, then they at least could shoot something, but basically four friendly ships decided to take a break and say, well, the first ten minutes we aren't participating. And that really, really hurts, especially if you have your high tier battleships over there. If it's a destroyer, a destroyer is at least fast and he can use the channel in the center to get back. So yeah. Despite that, the friendly team is only one ship behind and they are also taking the second capture point right now. The problem is the enemy team could just push here through... This cap, I suppose. We have a Yugumu. If the Yugumu actually decides to take point E, that would be good for the friendlies. And Eric said nicely what it does, hopes. Now, if the Yugumu decides to go through this small passage, the Baltimore can just radar him, and then those ships can pretty much wreck the Yugumu. But it looks like the enemy isn't foolish enough to try that. Now the friendlies here that uh, remain on the majority of the map, they are in pretty bad shape because they have to face overwhelming odds and they really need their ships over there and their ships over there are not even close to joining this battle. 
Now I rock said he is healing once more a little bit currently. And well, all he can do is sail here and try to shoot things. Now, his Missouri's guns aren't pointing his way. Nobody is currently aiming at him, so he can sit here sailing broadside, but he has to be prepared and he has to watch out. Now, someone is aiming at him. Is it the Missouri? Probably the guns are turning this way, so that's something to keep in mind. And he has to turn away now the shells are firing and Irak said is turning away so he is pretty well angled when those shells arrive and then he can turn back and use his front turrets again so he is keeping track of the enemy and it looks like the Missouri has given up right or oh, has he no I think the guns are turning back his way there is only one guy aiming at him and since those turrets yeah, clearly look this way, it's the Missouri, so as long as he keeps track of the Missouri, he should be fine. And it looks like the Missouri is switching to other targets in between. Also, the Missouri is nicely burned. Now, here on the right side, the Conqueror has even fallen farther behind this fleet for absolutely no reason. I mean, maybe they have shots at their own right now. But those ships still haven't really done much. I mean, it's now seven minutes into the game and they are probably starting to join the battle. Well, at least the Friedrichs. So I guess they are a bit faster than I gave them credit for. Uh, but only two of those ships are actually trying to rejoin the battle. The other two are still happy taking a break, I suppose. So this battle is going surprisingly well, considering how much firepower the friendly team is missing. Now Irak Z is trying to get some nice armor piercing in a more or less broadside demo in here, but now he has to be careful, there are two enemies aiming at him, it's probably the Missouri and maybe somebody else over there, the demo in here can't shoot him right now. And he is showing quite a bit of broadside towards that Missouri, so he's now correcting his course. The Des Moines is shooting him as well. Now, so far, Irak said is just trying to keep a high distance and keep shelling things. He really can't take much risks. He has recovered quite a bit of health, so nearly... It's not as dire as it was early on. And down goes the Missouri. Now this Des Moines is showing a lot of broadside, so I suppose he will switch to armor piercing shortly. And again, the Des Moines might just angle away. Now, thankfully there is a North Carolina around. And I think the Des Moines is angling against the North Carolina. Now Irex set has switched to armor piercing, so maybe there are some citadels incoming here. And well, no citadels, but a very nice salvo indeed. Now unfortunately the friendly battleship here went down. But on the bright side the demon is almost down and that would leave just the Edinburgh here. Nicely done. Now the only real fire support here might be the Yugumu, and I'm not sure if the Yugumu is engaging his guns. I think this island blocks the Kurfürst from doing anything, but I'm not sure. Also, let's look at the timestamp. It's like 9.50 minutes in. Uh, nine and a half minutes in. And it looks like the Kurfürst and the Conqueror are joining the battle for kind of the first time. There is still a Baltimore and a Friedrich, they didn't push here north, so they are going down here, so they are taking a break right now. Uh, despite everything, it's still equal ship-wise, which is really amazing. And this Edinburgh here should be going down soon. Now, uh, Edinburgh does have torpedoes, so that's also something to keep in mind. Uh, it's possible that the Edinburgh just wants to get very close before he is launching those. And also we have the Yugumo here, so Raider is running, the Yugumo is trying to smoke. 
and he was not able to immediately make use of his radar to shoot the Yugumu, but he spotted the Yugumu for not only for himself but also for his teammates and the Conqueror was able to take out that destroyer so it's looking pretty amazing for a friendly team surprisingly and it looks like one of the battleships here at the deep point was actually engaging somebody else and got sunk um, somewhat surprised I suppose now the gearing here is spotted and he is getting wrecked. I'm not sure how he managed that. Araxet's radar is not running and I think the Baltimore is too far away. Uh, War first Hydro? Maybe. So that was nicely done. And suddenly it looks amazing for the friendly team. It's also amazing that Irax is still around. He took so much damage in the beginning. And despite that, he stuck around and just wrecked enemies left and right so far. Well, I mean, he managed to sink four. But now there is a Conqueror approach. And while Conquerors are known to shoot high explosive, they do have very dangerous armor piercing as well. And with his low health, it really doesn't matter that much what the Conqueror is shooting, but the Des Moines will probably go down pretty fast. Comes to a close quarters firefight here. There is also no more heal ready. But Iraxet is too close anyway, so he will get spotted here and the islands prevented. Well, I, maybe he could have turned right earlier on. But he is turning away now, trying to get more distance. The Conqueror isn't shooting him yet, and the Yugumo here is providing smoke, which is amazing. There's just one small problem. If he's firing his guns, then he might still be visible, because how smokes works these days. If you fire your guns inside of smoke in a Des Moines, your visibility is 8.2 kilometers. So he is getting detected here, because that ship is 7.9 kilometers away so if, if the conqueror was uh, 400 meters farther away then he would have been fine but unfortunately he can't stay in the smoke or he's a sitting duck and he will get eaten by a nasty conqueror now, the conqueror has finally realized that there is a juicy low health Des Moines and the guns are pointing this way well Conqueror starts a fire, he takes care of that fire immediately, his health are too low to keep that burning, that's for sure. So I guess it depends what the second salvo here does, if he starts another fire, Roxette goes down, but he does not, and he sinks the Conqueror instead. So there is the Kraken unleashed already, a lot of damage here done, and still... The friendly team is only one ship ahead. I mean, they have one capture zone ahead, one ship ahead, and they have more points. So overall, you'd say it looks amazing. But there is still a Monarch, a Yamato, and a Rohan around. And this certainly could end badly. I mean, the Rohan could sink the Demonian one self. If the Monarch is supporting the Rohan, then as soon as Iraxet gets spotted here, he could get taken down. Now he is hoping to use this island as a cover to not get spotted and to shell their own here. Also, uh, the Z-52 could be in trouble. We don't know the layout of the own if he has his German Hydro with him and gets a bit aggressive. He could hunt down the set inside the smoke. If that Rohn sinks the set and takes that point, it could be a pretty close one. Now Irak said could just silence his guns and sail into a corner and hope that's enough, but there is still 5 minutes remaining. And while they are already at 860 points, it's... Well, it's just not certain that they are going to win if he does nothing, so what currently he's not being spotted, he is keeping this cover and he is just... Trying to hit something with his shells, but you know. It's not easy with this island blocking the way. Now the biggest problem is we don't know what the Monarch does. 
if the monarch comes around here and spots Irox set, then he is pretty much toast. So he's already turning away here and Oh my what 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 is this horn doing? So he is going for armor piercing and he might be able to land some armor piercing salvos and now he is detected so now he might be in trouble. The horn is already retreating. So if he is detected now, that means he is detected either by the Monarch or the Yamato. And I somehow doubt that the Yamato is around here. I guess he could have sailed through D and uh, he could potentially be behind him. But no, the Monarch is right there in front of him. And if the Monarch manages to hit him with one salvo, he might just be screwed. On the other hand, if they sink the horn, they just win. Uh, also... And the team sunk the Yamato. Now let's take a look at the results. Irak Z managed to get 2,777 base experience. So very nicely done by him. And yeah, he made an aggressive move in the beginning that almost was fatal. But despite his low health, he stuck around. He's done a ton of damage and he was certainly instrumental in that victory. Irak Z earned himself Confederate, Dreadnought and Kraken. He scored 182,000 points of damage and very nicely done by him. And also this game showed despite a not so great beginning, he did not give up. He stuck around there, he played it more passive, he kept his distance and ultimately he was very instrumental to this victory. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll see you guys next time.